Hello guys, my name is Ruby Q and for some reason, right when I started this live, they decided to cut my grass and I'm like, mm, okay. So anyway, my name is Ruby Q. If you're watching the replay, hi, how are you guys doing? I am your independent Sensi consultant and I am so happy to be showing you guys my big haul. Now, if you're in here, hello. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, today is Thursday. So anyway, let's get into this. I'm gonna wait to see if anybody else um, pops up on here. Um, that way, you know, if there's more people in here, we can all interact, have fun. And yeah, um, this is like the only time that I'm able to do this live. Um, my husband's not here, the baby's downstairs, the kids are at school, and uh, so yeah. And if you see my hands, um, they're tie-dyed because I was doing tie-dye projects with my kids. So just don't pay no mind to that, okay? So, how are you doing this Thursday? If you're in here, please reply. If you are watching the replay, I still wanna know how you're doing. <sighs> okay, so I got a lot of the um, summer collection. And I also got the whiff box because apparently this whiff box is supposed to be out of this world. Okay. And apparently there's a Star Wars item in the box. So I'll either get R2D2 or the gold fella that I don't know what the hell his name is. Don't don't hey, don't stone me. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, okay? Um Good morning, Natasha. Hey, Bev, my wife. My wife is in here. So I got a lot of things to show you guys that I'm like, like my mind's going to explode. <sighs> Sandra, hey. All right, are you guys ready? Okay, do you guys want me to start with the whiff box? Because I'm so excited about this whiff box. Oh, yeah. All that gets it upside down. Mm -hmm. So let me know. You guys want me to start with the whiff box? Because I really want to see what's in here. Um, Jennifer, hey girl, my girl's in here. Um, all right, whatever. I'm going to show you the whiff box. <laughs> I'm like, mm, let me wait till people comment. And I'm like, mm, no, I want to open it now. Okay, so let's see what's in this month's whiff box, okay? Again, apparently it's supposed to be like a very good whiff box, okay? So let's look at it. And this is the May box, Okay. Oh, you guys, I already see some things. Look at that. I love the whiff box because it's like a surprise. Like you get something, I mean, I try not to show spoilers in my Sensi Facebook group page, but um, I do post like a blurry picture and then I'm like, if you wanna see what's in it, holler at your girl. So this says, it's almost summer with Sensi um, and then it says it in other two languages. So here we have our little paper thing. And then, oh my God, this is so cute. These are drink tags. All right, Sensi over here trying to be like, get your drink on, you know what I'm saying? So you can actually cut these out and uh, put them on your drinks, I guess. Like put a straw and, and put it in your drink. Pretty cool. We have some, some cute little bubble uh, Sensi stuff in here no one cares about. <gasps> oh, I see what I got already. Um, Let's see. Thank you, Bevy. You're awesome. Oh, C3, C3PO. Is this what it's called? Light side of the force. So this is a little guy that I got. Um, if Okay, so for example, say that you don't like Star Wars, right? But you like everything that's in this box. You can literally just buy the box for the items and then give this to somebody that likes Star Wars. So for example, me, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. I don't care for it. Um... My husband is though, uh, but I don't know if I like, I even, if, I don't know, I might give this to my brother or something. And it comes, I don't know why it comes in this little bag, but it comes in a little bag. Look at him. Look, look, he's just in there. He's chilling. It's like, okay. And I'm not going to lie. He smells really good. Oh my God. <laughs> he's actually pretty big. Whoa. And he's, oh my God, this is so cute. Look, look at this. Wow. Okay. Hold on. So here he is. He's so cute. You can see the little wires. I guess he's broken or something. Um, but yeah, he's actually a, a pretty, look, he's on the shoulder now. Look at, look, look at that. 
Look, hello, buddy. Hi, hi, friend. So what I do with these, okay, is I put them on my keys um, because I'm a woman and I lose my keys all the time. And my husband's like, you need to put something on there that's going to be visible for you to find your keys. So what I do is I started putting my Sensi, um, what is this again? Sensi Buddy Clips. Sorry. Buddy Clips. <laughs> I'm like, Sensi Buddies? No, those are too big. I put these attached to my keys and I never lose them because I'll just, all I got to do is be like, okay, what is the buddy that I have attached to my keys this month? And I'm like, oh, that's right. It's this big ass thing. So I find it all the time. And he smells pretty good. I like his scent. Light side of the force. It's not my favorite scent. I'm, I'm smelling his butt. Okay, but he smells pretty good. Um, oh, hey, butter. Thank you. I posted in the Facebook group that your live silly lady didn't even do that. Oh, thank you. I love you. <laughs> I always forget to put in my in my Facebook group for some reason. Okay, so I don't know why that. What what is this? Like, I, okay, whatever. Um, this doesn't. <laughs> oh my god. What is it, Sensi? What the hell? This is not Frisky Friday. Calm down. Okay, so we're just gonna put that over there. Um. My order should be here tomorrow. Oh, yes. I'm so happy for you. Okay. I, I love mail days because I'm just like looking outside and I'm like, where's the mailman? You better bring me my Sensi. All right. So, Kukui, Kukui, and Coconut. This is what's in here. There is a bar in here. Okay. And again, if you just walked in here or walked, <laughs> if you guys walked in here, if you guys just came in here, my hands are tie dyed. So, that's why they're all, all different types of colors. Okay. So, all right, so this one, oh, hmm, hmm, what do I think about this one? Let me smell the bottom, okay? If if you ever get a bar and you can't really smell when you're sniffing the top, um, take it out of the, of the little thingy right here and smell the bottom. Okay, not my favorite. It's not that strong. Um, let me see the scent notes for this, okay? Ooh, Sandra. Yeah, I saw a lot of your guys' orders just shipped. So I'm so excited for you guys to get your orders. Finally, this one is mm, Tropical Coconut, Kukui Nut, and Soft Jasmine. What is a Kukui Nut? Does anybody know what a Kukui Nut is? Kukui means, um, in Spanish, it means monster. So <laughs> monster and coconut. <laughs> Excuse me. So we get a bar in the Scentsy box. And then we get, all these are full size by the way, okay? And then we get hand soap. This one is peachy and palm trees. Full size hand soap. All right, amazing. And then we get counter clean. Oh, hell yes, feeling punchy. This is a new scent that just came out. So this is counter clean, which is if you guys um, have watched my previous uh, Scentsy videos, I love like a hundred percent love their counter cleaner okay i literally use it for everything i don't use anything else um and then we have a scentsy fresh which is great because i feel like they haven't put scentsy fresh in their whiff boxes and what scentsy fresh is is so say that you know you don't want to wash your sheets or even even after you wash your sheets right and you're like um something's missing mm, it doesn't i want i wanted to smell good when i go to bed right so what scentsy did was they created this right here scentsy fresh and you spray it onto your sheets. You can even spray it on the floor, okay? And it makes your sheets or your clothing smell really, really nice. And also what they did was that they didn't make it like such a strong scent where you're just like, oh my God, I'm going to get a headache or I can't be breathing this, you know, because it does stay in the um, fiber for a while. So I think it's great that they put Scentsy Fresh in their box. So with that being said... Yeah, all of this is like Hawaiian stuff. Um, okay, so that being said, we have one counter clean, one Scentsy Fresh in this box. We have one soap, hand soap, and then we have our bar, and then we have our little um, Scentsy Buddy Clip, and all of this is $30, which is amazing for, I mean, everything that you get. So, and another thing, that I want to mention is that if you've never tried any of these products in the box that I just showed you, this is a great opportunity for you to try these products without having to buy them individually because it will cost you more 
um, the Wif box was created so that you can find new products and it is cheaper than if you were to buy them individually. So they did a really good job with the Wif box. And I'm really happy. I'm, I'm actually considering buying another one just to save money. <laughs> because, I mean, it's only $30. And if you do a subscription, um, you can get the box for $15 if you spend $60 in your subscription. That's with Sensi Club. Okay. So next up, we have... Um, I got this Sensi Bitty Buddy. Now, I wasn't a big fan of these things because I'm like, what the hell do I need this for? Right? But um, I tossed one of these at my child. I was like, here, you know, and what he started doing. Um, and this is my nine year old and my um, six year old. Okay. So they're little balls. Okay. Oh, this smells really good. Okay. They're little balls. And this is part of the summer collection as well. And not only do they smell good, but they're kind of, they're sensory toys. So, and again, don't mind my hands. Okay. So if you squeeze it, it has it's like a memory foam that's in there, and it's really good for um, kids that have sensory over sensory, like they're really like like for example ADHD, autism, and stuff like that. Um, my son likes these because he says he can just squeeze them, and it's just you know I don't know it's like really comforting for him. So I started getting these, and um, he has his own little collection now. So I'm going to be giving him one of these. I want to keep the other one because the other one's so cute. But, yeah, and it smells really good. Um, not only that, but these are baby safe. So if you wanted to give this as a baby shower gift, you can do that. Thank you, Bevy. Um, cute. Yes, very, very, very cute. And so that one, let me check how much that is. They are 12 bucks. Okay, they are $12, and this scent right here, this one is Make a Splash. Okay, so Make a Splash, that is one of the scents that came out with our catalog for the spring-summer collection. Um, Make a Splash is actually a really good scent that I like. Um, so it, they actually incorporated that with, the, with this summer collection. Yeah, okay, I'm like, mm, words for to use them. All right, so next up, um, I want to, I'm going to show you the bigger stuff like a, a little bit later. I want to go through the new scents that came out because we got some new scents. Um, and then I also bought like some older scents that I like, but let's look at the new ones. Okay. Because there's actually several of them. Pink lemon water. Okay. No, not, not that one. Okay. Actually, okay. There's four new ones. Okay. So here we have peachy and palm trees, okay? And then we have cuckoo and coconut, which I actually already have this one because it came in my whiff box, so I have two of them now. Um, cucumber and cactus water, and feeling punchy, okay? So let's, let's take a whiff. Who's ready to take a whiff? Peachy, let me go to the scent notes for this, okay? Because I don't like just smelling it and like being like, oh, this smells like this. Before I read the description, though, I'm going to tell you what I think it smells like, okay? So let's go to the comments real quick. Robert, hey, Tinker Tink Tink, what's up? All right, peachy and palm trees. Oh, okay. All right. What does this smell like? Um, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like slapping it to my face. Hmm. This smells like... I can't put my finger on it, but it does smell, it smells pretty uh, peachy to me. So let's see. Um, sweet peach and mango and tangy twist of smooth coconut milk. I cannot smell the coconut milk or any coconut at all. I do smell the peach and I do smell the mango. So this one actually smells really good. I actually really, really like this one. I give this one a eight out of 10. Okay. Eight out of 10. Now, let's smell the cuckooing and coconut because we, oh wait, actually, no, we already smelled that one. I'm not doing that one. Um, cucumber and cactus water. Let's go to that one. And these are all six bucks. So, cucumber and cactus water. This one says, oh, wait, I can't read it yet. Hold on. Oh, oh my God, I like this one. Okay. It has like a perfumey scent, but it's not a strong perfumey scent. 
um, crisp cucumber, um, refreshing, refreshing, can you say refreshing, uh, cactus, water, and sea salt. Okay. This one actually is, yeah, this is like a fresh scent. So it's kind of perfumey, but not the perfumey where your head is like in a hurt or anything. Um, I think that if you warm this one up, it's not going to have like a strong scent kick. Like I said, I don't like really strong perfume or cologne smells because it makes my head hurt. But this one seems like a very light, very, very light perfumey scent. And it does smell good. So I, I approve of that one. I'm going to give it an 9 out of 10. Next up is Feeling Punchy. So let's see. Feeling Punchy, like you want to punch someone in the face? What? Sensi, what's going on here? I bought one lollipop one was terrible. I bought one lollipop one was terrible. There was a there was a lollipop one? Um, okay, so feeling punchy. Oh, damn. Whoa, okay. Oh my god, this like just brought back a memory. That's so weird. Okay. Do you guys remember the markers when you were little that smelled? Like, you would open them. Like, I was in kinder, and I remember having, like, the markers that would smell good. And there was an orange one. This is exactly what that one smells like. And it's so weird that I remember that. Okay, this one smells really good. Feeling punchy? Um, it, it, it really does smell good. It's, okay, tangerine, pink lemon, and a sweet splash of fruit punch. Okay. Definitely. Oh, my God. That smells really good. I really like, I give this a 10 out of 10. That one. 10 out of 10. So these are, this one is a fruity scent. Um, this one is a fresh scent, kukui or whatever. The cucumber and cactus water is a fresh scent to me, okay? And then the peachy and palm trees. Hmm, I don't know. I think this one would be in between fresh and sweet, okay? Or fruity, fresh and fruity. So let's put these to the side, all right? Oh, sh knocking shit over. All right, and then I'll show you the other four that I got after I show you this other stuff, okay? So, let's go to... Um, fragrance flowers, because I haven't gotten fra fragrance flowers in a while. So, I was like, what have I not bought in a while? And I was like, fragrance flowers. So, I got fragrance flowers. I got three of them. And, let me see, what is the scent to this one? Okay, so I did get like ones from the older catalog. So I got vanilla bean buttercream. That's one. And I'll show you the flower and the everything right now. Check. And then I got, and I think, let me check. Let me check if these are on sale still. Yeah, so all the fragrance flowers right now are on sale for $12.80. They are usually $16. So if you want to try the fragrance flower out, they are on sale right now, okay? This one is Iridescent Pearl, okay? And then this one is Watermelon Tangerine. So I don't think I got any of the new scents. I think I got ones that I already knew that I was like, okay, I know these smell good. So this is what it looks like when you open it. And if you're wondering what a fragrance flower is, it is basically um, a, like oil. And then they have this handmade, like this is literally handmade. They don't machine make or mass produce this. They actually hand make it. They have these flowers with these petals. And these petals, let me see what they're made out of. Um, okay, it doesn't even say what it's made out of. That's weird. But it kind of, it's kind of like a, it kind of, it's like wood, I believe. It's some type of wood. I don't even know, but. This is what it looks like. It's very, very pretty. Um, and then you replace, this is the oil. You replace the top um, with this. <laughs> with this. And then you just plop this in there and it stays like that. Okay. Um, and then the oil, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know what the hell's going on with me. I need water or something. The oil will, will absorb through the wick into the flower and then whatever room you have it in, it'll make your room smell really good. Now, I'm gonna be really honest with you. The way that it absorbs into the flower, into the petals, depends on where you live because um, there's a lot of people that say that this has lasted them 15 days. There's people that have lasted 30 days and then there's 60 days. Okay, so in Hawaii for me, the fragrance flower would last about 60 days to absorb. 
Um, here, I noticed that it takes maybe like 20 to 25 days to absorb um, all of it, okay? So it depends on the area that you're in, okay? So I don't want to lie to you and be like, oh yeah, it's going to last forever, like 60 days, to no, and it, it just depends where you live. Um, and I, yeah, I've noticed that a lot and let's be honest, okay? Um, Wispy Willow, hi Ruby, are you on live chat? Oh, let me make sure I'm on live chat. Good job. Thank you for telling me. I always forget. Um, the oil diffuses slowly. My mom loves fragrance flowers. Christina P says, okay, we'll ask again. Where do I find a European Scentsy seller? I have searched but can't find one. Christina, write me on Instagram after this and I'll send you um, a European um, Scentsy consultant. Now, I don't think we sell in Switzerland. I don't know if... I think you had asked me, right? Switzerland or something? Um, not from this company. Oh, okay. So you bought like a different, like a wax bar from a different company. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. I bought three fragrance water because they were on sale last month. And then they're on sale this month. And I'm like... Give me all the fragrance flowers. Because not a lot of people like warmers. Not a lot of people can afford the warmers that we sell. You know, and I mean, the fragrance flowers are not only pretty, but they make your house smell good. Now, the next thing that I got is the Flamingo. Um, and this is in Make a Splash. And this is a Bitty Buddy. Okay, again, those little squishy thingies I told you about. Now, this one's mine. Okay, because it's so cute. And I was like, oh my God, like, what the hell? And it smells amazing. Okay, so let me look at look at them. Look at look at look at how cute. Okay, so what I've noticed about our bitty buddies and our buddy clips is that the scent lasts over a freaking year. Okay, and I'm not lying to you. Like I have all these buddy all these little bitty buddies, right? Um, and they have lasted me like the Dumbo one I got over a year ago and it's lasted me the whole year Like I can still smell the scent of it. Um, I don't think it depends on your weather either because Mine has been out like in Hawaii and here like out of the little plastic thing It's in and it still smells like I just took it out of the thing. So There's that um, Have many available outlets Sandra? Yes, so not a lot of people have a lot of available outlets all right, so now, this, I'm telling you guys, like, I know I mention this a lot, but I don't see many sales for this, and I'm just mind blown, because I'm telling you right now, if you buy a counter clean, you're going to fall in love with it. Um, not only does it clean the grease off, okay, it's not just something you spray and it's going to smell nice, and it's like, okay, I clean, but it's going to go away. No. What this actually does is it does take the grease off of your stove, off your counter, I mean, it, it works. So it's not just something that is going to make your house smell good. The kicker is that it does make your house smell good at the same time as cleaning around like the grease and the dirt and all that. So this, this is why I love it. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, does it kill bacteria? And I'm like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> but I don't care about that. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't care. I don't really like the smell of Clorox. So this is what I use and this is what I've been using. Um, once in a while, Mr. Q does use like Clorox wipes and stuff, but um, I don't, it's just, it's amazing. I love it. So I got the squeeze a day. Sorry, I slammed it. And then I got the Sun Kiss Citrus, which is, this one is a brand new scent. And then I got Scentsy Fresh. And then I got another Feeling Punchy. Okay. So now I have a collection of counter cleaners because you can never have too many of these. But there was one product that I would buy. Just one product off of Scentsy, I would literally buy counter cleaner and that's it. Okay, it's my favorite. It's my favorite product. Um, and then we also have another Scentsy Fresh in Black Raspberry Vanilla. Again, this is to make your linens smell good or your floor. Okay, or if like you have a kid and their their room stinks, you know, you know, us moms have kids that are dirty as hell and we're just like, you want to spray them like when they come through the door, like, psh, psh, psh. don't do that. But <laughs> you can spray their clothes. Um, you know, it's good. Thank you, baby. Um, how's everybody doing but Lazy Crafts? Hey, Crashly, how you doing? Ooh, Crashly's in here. Hey, girlfriend. Um, but Lazy. Hey, but Lazy Crafts. 
but lazy, but lazy. Who is that, but lazy? That sounds very familiar. Okay, next up, I also got, oh my God, okay, you guys, look, listen. I've been a Sensei Consultant for a year now, right? A little bit over a year. And I've never got this product until now. And I'm like, I'm like a little kid at a candy shop. Okay, look, look, look at this. What is this? What is this? Sensei Go. Sensei Go. Like, go. Okay? You can take this anywhere with you. You can take it to the gym. I don't know why you would. You can. You can put it in your car, which a lot of people do. Um, if you travel and you don't want to smell that hotel smell in your room, you, you take one of these. Okay? So, it comes with an instruction guide on how to use it, which is good because, you know, Ruby Q don't know how to do anything without instructions. Um, and then, apparently, this one changes colors. So, and I think, honestly, I think this is, like, really inexpensive. I don't think it's expensive. Like, let me check real quick how much this is. I don't know why I sound like a robot. All right, so this one's $50, okay? Um, I don't think it's expensive for what it does and what it is. And then, so the bottom has like these little um, stoppers, or I think that's what you call them, right? Like, that way if you put it somewhere, it's not just, it's not going to like wobble or it's not going to like scratch your bottom or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the hell they, you know what? I don't know. They just put it on there. Okay, I know what it does. I don't know how to explain it. Don't judge me. So, they have the Sensi Gold Silver and the Sensi Gold Rolls. And the $50 ones are the ones that change colors. There's a $35 one that's just solid white that does not change colors. So, let's take a look and see what this is all about. Because everybody and their mom talks about it. And I'm like, excuse me, I don't have one. And now I do. So, so I mean, is this battery operated? I don't even know. Hold on, guys. What is this? How do you use it? USB. Okay. All right. So, it's USB operated. Um, I do have a USB thingy here, so I'm, I am going to turn it on. What is this, a cap? Oh, okay. Very easy to take off the cap. This is where you would put your Scentsy Pods, which I do have. I bought like six of them. So let's put peachy and palm trees in here, okay? And I did um, bundle and save. Oh, it smells good. Okay, so there's one in there, and there's two in there, okay? Let's close this up. Oh, very easy to put back on. And let's connect this biatch into whatever outlet I have around me. Where is it? How do I? Hold on, guys. Okay, where's the instruction guide? Hold on. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. I don't know how to do this. Whew. Let me read the comments. Who? Oh. Yes, I love those. It's so cute. And I carry to the hospital when I go with my son to his appointments, nice. I used to go by Ellie, but I changed it now to Blake because it seems to be more people called me also lazy butt and I'm a youngster because I'm, oh, I rem okay, see now I, I remember, okay. I know who you are. Okay, so where does this, you okay, look, listen, Sensi, I'm, I'm dumb, all right? Wh why do, oh, okay, it does tell you. <laughs> It tells you. It's like it's right here, Ruby. Duh. Hold on, guys. I'm having a hard time opening this. Oh. 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 That's where it goes. Okay. Okay. Let's turn this on. Wow. Well, I guess. Let's see. Ugh. Let me get this. I'm trying to learn. All right, cool. So, oh, it's on. Okay, so if the light's on, hmm, is it changing colors? Sensi, are you lying to me? All right, hold on. Maybe I should read the instructions on how to do this instead of just trying to figure it out my own way. Um, to turn fan on, blah, blah, blah. To change eco mode, press fan button, blah, blah. When the LED glows green. Oh, it's changing color. Oh, oh, 
It's changing colors. Oh, okay, so I did it right. Hold on. <laughs> Look at that. It's changing colors. Okay, okay. Do we have to have it connected or is this like a charger? I, I want to know. Does anyone does anyone know in here? I should know this. I don't know this. I'm brand new to this. Like a brand new thing to me. So yeah, look, it changes colors. Okay, let's turn on the fan. Is it on? Oh, now it's on. Oh. It's very quiet. Okay. Okay, I think it charges. I'm late, but here. Hey, Debbie, what time is Frisky Friday? Eastern, please. Um, oh, it's charging. Oh, my God. No way. Okay, so this... Okay, listen, guys. I was about to say, Sensi Go, excuse me. If I have to have something connected to this, it's not a Sensi Go. Like, do I have to have a USB port with me everywhere I go? So I'm happy to know. I'm happy to tell you guys that this right here, you charge it. And, um, wow. Okay, so how many hours... Let me see, how many hours does this last? Do you know what I'm saying? This is pretty neat. Oh my God, I love this. I want to put this in my, God damn it. I want to put it in my car, you know, because it's like, oh, so pretty. Let's see. Um, Approximately, approximate battery life is 18 hours. Wow. Oh, so there's two fan modes, standard for continuous fragrance and eco mode for on and off bursts of fragrance. Wow, so it tells you on here in the pamphlet how to use that eco mode. So, oh my God, I approve. I approve because I can take this anywhere, look at this. And it's, it's, it's working. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. All right, cool, let's turn this off. <laughs> I'm just, I just threw it. Okay, look, see, it's still on. All right, so what I'm going to do, man, I didn't even have to, I didn't have to charge it. Man, I could have just turned it on. <laughs> All right, whatever. Let's, let's turn this off. Cool. I actually really, wow. Okay, I'm going to get another one for my husband um, because it's pretty cool and it's so easy to just pop off and then you can just take these out. If you ever exchange your pods, make sure that you put it back in its little, um, thingy in here okay just so that you don't lose a scent all right so i did get the bundle and save and i got six of them let's see it's been a minute pulling up my shirt i don't want no boobies flying out okay so i did get mystery man okay because you guys know Mystery Man is the best manly smelling scent out there. And then we have Peachy and Palm Trees, a new scent. We got the Cucumber and Cactus scent, Feeling Punchy. And then we got Watermelon Tangerine because it's just, oh my God, amazing. Okay. And, oh, and then we got the Queen Coconut, which also is not my favorite scent. Okay. I'm not going to lie. It smells good, but it's not for me. So there we go. We got this cool thing. And, um, yeah, awesome. I, I really like it. Hmm. Very, very nice. Okay, let's put this away now. Let's put all this stuff on the floor where it belongs. No, I'm just kidding. Let's just toss it all down on the floor. Okay, put that over there. All right, are you guys ready for the cool stuff? Are you guys ready for the cool stuff? Are you guys ready for the cool stuff? Um, congratulations, congratulations, Blake. Oh, you had a baby. Oh, you're going to have a baby. Oh, congrats. Babies are the best. They're so cute and cuddly until they poop on you and turn like two years old and then they're like terrorizing you. But congrats, girl. Congrats. Newborns are like the best. Okay, let me tell you right now. A lot of people are like, newborns are the worst. And I'm like, excuse me, when they're newborns, it's the best time. All they do is poop, sleep, and eat, and cry. And if they're crying, it's because you either got to change them, feed them, or put them to sleep. So, very, very easy. Okay? <gasps> you guys. All right, first of all, look what I got. Tangle the Toucan. Okay, let's see what he looks like. Because I was seriously so in love when I saw this. I was like... Oh. Okay. 
oh my god this oh my god his butt y'all this looks so cool look at this look at look at his little butt he's so cute look at his little legs look at it oh and it has like the sensi logo on the bottom and then his face look at his face oh my god you guys this is so cute oh it's a little baby toolkit oh it's not a baby but look at this look you guys look it has a little sensi star right there and then interesting interesting where you put the sensi pack is on its wing you see that you put the sensi pack in here and of course i got watermelon tangerine for that okay so this is like super cute now you're probably wondering like ruby what do you do with all these sensi buddies well let me tell you if you have a child like i do you put this in their room and it makes their, their room smell good right you do have to change their scent packs once in a while okay a lot of them are light scents a lot of them are strong you can just ask me and i'll be like that's strong that's not strong you know what i'm saying but this is so cute i like it i love its little eyeball look at its eyeball okay so this is our brand new scentsy buddy and he is let's see how much is he he is available and he's 40 dollars and then he could just sit down, like he just chills. He's like, yeah, yeah, buddy. You know what I'm saying? So he's really cute. I really like him. What do you guys think about Tingo? You guys think he's cute? He looks very real. Look at that. He's so cute. He's like, oh, I can't walk. I just sit down. So yeah, he's so cute and he's very fluffy. I love it. Um, Toucan, so cute. Bring it on. I just checked my order. I got the punchy, the cucumber, cactus water, and peachy palm. Nice. I think you're going to like them. But Lazy Craft says I'm excited and nervous about it because it's my first baby. Oh. oh, my God. Okay, just enjoy everything. Enjoy it even, like, if if you have, like, pregnancy pains and all, just enjoy it. Because, like, your first pregnancy is always the one that you remember the most if you have more kids, right? Um, but even if you don't, like, it's just a wonderful experience. And then when you're actually giving birth, it's like you, it, okay, so, like, let's stop a second with the sensory real quick. Um, a lot of new moms are scared, you know, when they first give birth because they hear all these horror stories and like they watch these movies where the woman's like screaming and once you go into the hospital room and you're in labor, it's like your body and your mind completely go into like mother mode. Even if you're a brand new mom, like you just, you just, your body and your mind automatically know what to do. And it's so crazy. It's like you, you turn into the mom, like in that second when you're giving birth. And it, like the only thing that matters in that moment is you having your baby and, and seeing your baby for the first time. Um, and it's like all your worries literally go out the window. Like I feel like that's an experience for like every single mom that I've ever talked to. It's like once you have that baby, it's like, oh my God, like I can do this, you know? So don't be scared of giving birth. It's like seriously the best experience ever. I mean, a lot of women don't have the best experience. Um... But mostly it has to do with like them not wanting to be in pain. And that's fine. Um, a lot of them um, run into issues and you know. But if you have a healthy pregnancy, you have a healthy birth. It's like the best experience that you'll ever have in your life. And it's like I miss that, you know. Um, so yeah, I love it. I love that you're going to have your first baby. Just don't be scared and don't listen to anybody that's like, it's going to hurt. Oh my God. Blah, 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 blah. Like, shut up. Shut up. Don't tell me nothing about that. <laughs> you know. You're going to love it, girl. Don't even worry about it. Spot on, Ruby. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, Muni Corny's on here. Hey, girl. What's up? Hey, girl. Hey. Okay. Ha happy birthday. Oh, my God. Is it your birthday today? Is it today? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, I am thinking about pregnancy this year. Oh, a little, a little Muni Corny baby. Okay. So, seriously, like... Oh, that was yesterday. Okay, I'm like so fucking off. <laughs> I'm way off, okay? Leave me alone. I, I just, I thought today was Wednesday. All right, leave me alone. It's Thursday. Um, A lot of people, like, are like, we want to have babies. And I'm like, stop it. Like, they're, okay, my neighbor has a baby, right? And not the bitch neighbor, the, the cool neighbor. She has a baby, and I saw her, and she was just smiling at me. And I'm like, oh, my ovaries. Oh, they're going to blow up. But I was like, no, stop it, Ruby. And Mr. Q luckily came up and was like, no. And I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, he knows. He knows when I'm like, 
<laughs> you know? So, yeah, he caught me and he was like, no. What day is it? But thank you. What day is it? Shit. What day is it today? Uh, May 12th. Tomorrow's Friday the 13th, guy. Ooh, guy? Guys. It's Friday the 13th tomorrow. And I'm like, ooh, I have a story to tell you guys tomorrow for uh, Friday. Friday Night Live. All right. This next thing I'm going to show you. Oh, my God. Is Desert Darling Pink. Okay. This is part of our summer collection, too. And I don't know why I didn't get the big one. I should get the big one because I like big things and I cannot lie. But, you know, I was like, I already have a lot of warmers. Um, and I already have another big one that I'm going to show you. But this is actually cute in person. So I'm going to get the big one. Okay. Look at that. Look at it. Look at how cute it is. Little cactus. And it's pink. It's pink. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. And it has all types of... Uh, I was going to say cucumbers. What the hell? It has a whole bunch of cactus and it has like that aloe vera. And like, how do I know that? Because I'm Mexican. And every time I got a cut, my mom would cut one of those leaves and put it on my skin and it would burn. Um, but anyway, so here is, <laughs> here are little cactuses. Um, and the light goes through the back, right? And then of course we have our um, connection thingy majigger right here. I don't need to turn this on only because like it doesn't glow or anything it's just for like basically for design and if you walk into someone's house and they have it on their table because you can get the tabletop thingy for it they're like oh my god a cactus it's so cute you know they're not gonna see this at night so yeah you just put this in there let me see if I can do it because Ruby sucks at putting things together <sighs> all right there we go like that you see that very very cute i love it i love it and i believe this is 25 dollars. so and it does come with another little um ring i don't know why it already has one but okay whatevs um let's see you had a busy birthday then and hope you got to relax in the evening thank you sandra i went to go see the new doctor strange oh my my husband went to go watch it he said it was amazing he didn't take me, though. He took my child. I was like, it's fine. <laughs> I'll watch it later, I guess. Um, my little baby boy already started kicking me in the second week of month four. And every time I need to get out, he is kicking me like I don't want to go out, mama. The kicks are the best. I didn't feel um, Michael kick me because I had a... Um, what is it called when you're, when the placenta is behind fuck I don't remember what it's called like it's been a while it's been a while but it basically depending on where your placenta is oh it was in the back of my uterus it wasn't in the front of my uterus so um I couldn't feel his kicks at all like not even on my back I didn't feel anything I barely felt his kicks but I missed those kicks because they were just like shut up mom you know and you could just feel it it was amazing um, I've been eyeing that one, but don't need another warmer. So cute. I know, right? Like, you see all these warmers, and you're just like, oh, I want it. I don't need it. I have enough. Um, haha, okay, but we need a cucumber one now. We do. We do need a cucumber one. You, what? Iwa, placenta. Shut up, Bev. Get out. <laughs> Shut up. I'm talking about my placenta, okay? My uterus and my placenta. You know, a lot of women eat their placenta, okay? Some people, okay, look, I get in cap, uh, in cap, encapsulation is that how you say it i don't know but a lot of people actually oh my god this is so disgusting they blend it they blend it and drink it i mean listen i don't have nothing against that but like if i had to do that i would just let it dry and then encapsulate it not actually like take it out and then blend it and then drink it like what okay but i i have this stuff with animal placenta in it to put on my hair on your hair but see that's like a little different though like okay so my mom she like as you guys know she's really mexican right so she has like this horse um it's called horse shampoo or something um and it's made out of like horse guts okay and she puts it in her hair and it actually does make her hair shiny so that's not weird to me right but eating it like blending it and like drinking it like that's kind of crazy okay like what the fuck um Thank you, Bevy. You're so sweet. I love you. All right. Are y'all ready for this? 
bum, 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 bum. I don't know why I did that. Okay, look, listen. Oh my God. I've been waiting for this for such a long time. Look at that. Look at the irid. What is it? The bubbled iridescent warmer that just came out this month. It's the warmer of the month. Um, it's not raw placenta. It's a product, but the pro protein strings your hair. Oh, <laughs> I was like, like you just scoop it and you just like blob it on your hair like it's all red. <laughs> Um, I was like, whoa, that's okay, cool. You know, I don't, I don't judge or anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have an ultrasound from yesterday when he looks like he's scratching his head. Mm, nope. He's still talking about babies. I want one now. Unicorny says, Bev is literally at every single live I go to, always on top of all the links. She is amazing. She really is. Bevy is amazing. Um, Friday Night Lives though, like, um, who is it? Cynthia is the one who's doing that because I think Bev is like diamond painting or or uh, she wants to be a part of the fun. <laughs> okay, but she's really good. Bevy's like awesome. She's very supportive. All right, guys. The all right. This is the the tray is like just blah blah blah. Okay, it's not very interesting. It's just your regular see through tray. Um. Yes, this next warmer looks awesome, and it really does. I mean, I've never seen it in person, but I've seen pictures, and I'm like, I need it in my life. Go away. Okay. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, my God. This is actually pretty cool. Okay. So, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at its magical surface. Isn't that cool? And it's all around. Like, it's, like, it looks very futuristic. You know? Look at it. Look at the inside. Isn't it cool? Okay, so let's try, let's turn this, this on. Where's my light bulb? What the hell did I do with the light bulb? Oh, of course, I always throw it. I always, like, okay, anyway, it's right here. It's safe. It's not broken. The cool thing is that you can also like get the different colored light bulbs to make your warmer look completely different, which is awesome. <sighs> I like that one. That's beautiful. I was expecting the be this be iridescent. Like, come on, calm down, Ruby. <laughs> calm down. It's just a light bulb. All right, let's. Let's. Uh, and also, it has a groove in the back. Okay, so our warmers always have grooves in the back. So that when you put it down on the table, it's not like that. Because if it was, it'd just be like this and be like, what the hell? But it's like this. And yeah. So FYI, if y'all didn't know. Okay. Back then, they used to just stick the cord out from the warmer. And it looked very weird. Like, you couldn't turn it any way. Because it was like sticking out of the warmer. Okay. Back in the day. Let's connect this to see what it looks like. Okay, connected. All right. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Is it gonna blow up? Oh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. I, like, why did I do that? I'm like, oh. Okay, wow, this is cute. Okay, so you can actually see the, the light bulb. So that's it being on, okay? And the, what you're looking at in the screen is exactly what it looks like in person. There's no color changing or, you know, like sometimes things look different on camera than it does in real life. No, this is literally what it looks like. Okay. And then this is what it looks like off. Okay. So it does have like a purple and blue tint to it. Like, okay, do you guys see the bottom of it? That purple and blue on the bottom. It actually has it everywhere depending on how the light is hitting it okay um this looks like i just blew a bubble like you know and then boop it's on like Donkey Kong. you see that pretty cool right i like it what do you guys think about this one would you guys get this one this kind of reminds me of um the summer one that i have let me show you the summer one that i have the summer rain because i all right this one and summer rain go together like they're sisters or something right um it looks really pretty it almost looks like carnival glass um 
All right, let me go get the summer one because I really want to show you guys. Move, Bob, God damn it. All right, hold on, guys. Oh shit, I got some I got some tape stuck in between my legs. What? Alright. So now I have now I have something to pair this one with. Um they're literally they literally look almost the same. I mean they're different, but they look the same. So this is a rain one, the the summer rain, and it looks like there's rain coming down from it, right? Um, it is very, it is textured. So it's not just an image of rain. It's actually textured. So you guys see that, right? So these two put to, like, if you put these two side, side by side, they would look amazing because they kind of have like the same colors. That makes any sense. See that? Okay. Except that when you turn this one on, this one's like crazy as shit. Okay, I love it. It's like my favorite warmer right now. So let's turn it on and see. Let's show you what this looks like. I don't know how they did this effect, but they did it. Um, it looks like Carnival Glass. Dang, does that she eat all the little mermaid characters like that? Savage. Hi pie. Oh. Oh, you see my, you, wait, where is it? Oh, here. You see that? <laughs> listen, listen. Okay, listen, listen, Linda. I, I have, um, okay, so that, I use that plate for my clay stuff. Um, and then I had Sebastian on my table and I had to move him, so I just plopped them. <laughs> I just plopped them up there. <laughs> Oh my god, that shit's funny. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna show you this <laughs> this warmer. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I'm gonna tell my husband about that. Like, hey, they were making fun of me because I did that. <laughs> Alright, look, listen. Shush, shush, look at this. Look at this beautiful thing. So, this one right here is really pretty. It's like, it kind of looks like it's neon, you know? And then, like, the bottom is orange and pink and, like, it's just so pretty, okay? So that one is summer rain, and then let's turn on this one. See, they're they're different when they're on. They're so different when they're on. You see, but they kind of like go together. I don't know. Is it just me? They kind of go together. Um, so let's turn them both off and then see what they look like off together. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. So I am gonna be putting these downstairs in my living room because I don't know. I just feel like they go together. It's pretty cool. Um, poor guy being made into a casserole. Well, that what incarnation is this sorcery? Baby boy is laughing too. Or hold on, let me let me Sebastian get your ass over here. Make me look bad. All right, so <laughs> so look look listen. Okay, I have my okay. This tray is full of like ones that I already uh, sanded, and then I have all these right here. All this clay stuff that I have to sand still. So I put it all in this little dish. I don't know why I put it in this fucking dish. But I, I don't, why did I put it in this fucking dish? I don't know. I think it's because I was washing them in the dish. I don't remember. But this shit's been in here for a while. So I have all my clay pieces. And then, I don't know. I just kind of, I kind of just put him on there. <laughs> Alright, Sebastian. I'm sorry. I'm not going to cook him or anything. Wait, who was it? Who was a person who was arguing with me saying that Sebastian was a, um, I said he was a crab. And someone said he was a lobster. And I was like, it's not a lobster, it's a crab. And everybody was like, no, it's a lobster. And then I don't know who Googled it. And it was, it's a fucking crab, okay? It's a crab, it's not a lobster. <laughs> well, look, at, he's cute too. He has like all this, this little shiny shell. And like, he's so cute. Under the sea. Um, it was me, I was wrong. <laughs> Bev. Uh, please do more clay whipping chats. That was so chill. It gave me ASMR vibes. Aw. Yeah, I so I did a um let me show you guys why the hell is it? This has turned into a clay video thingy. Okay, so I did um a video on me. What was it? What was I doing? I don't know, I was doing something. And um um I have to do like a voiceover for it though. 
because it was loud that day I think so I just did like the video of me doing whatever I was doing and then I was like I'll just do a voiceover but um this is what I'm giving my patreons so like this cover minder and then these are already baked cow uh cover minder and then this right here is really cute I don't think I've showed you guys this but this is gonna be um earrings for those that picked earrings this is gonna be ice cream earrings pretty cute and I have a whole bunch so I made like the little cone and then it's like dripping ice cream so yeah I think I don't know I did something with this I think for that video that I'm supposed to be coming out with I am such a troll you're not a troll the clap love the clap whip and chat the clap the clap what the hell is that <laughs> I'm like, what, what, what? <laughs> what? the clap um, thank you, Bevy. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, I'm get I'm giving Bevy a um a Furby cover minder that she wanted because she's so nice. All right, so the next four, okay, because I did get four four more. Um, Magnolia linen is one of my favorite scents right now, so that's why I got it. Okay. Um, again, if you came in here and you're wondering why my hands are all weird and colorful is because I um, I was doing tie-dye stuff with my children and the gloves were broken and I didn't know and you know, well, it got all over me. Um, Camu Camu, which is really nice too. It smells delicious. It smells like peaches. And then, oh, oh shit, I forgot. I didn't even smell this one. Okay, guys, listen. If you get this warmer this month, it is 10% off along with the scent of the month okay this is a scent of the month for may now do i know what it smells like no am i gonna find out right now yes so let's see is it worth it mm. Meh. robert de niro face mm. actually you know what yeah okay so it does it okay it's it smells like pink lemonade so if you like that that's what it smells like Okay, and of course, the best smelling scent in the whole world. Let me show you. <laughs> it is blueberry cheesecake. I don't care what no one says. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> no one. This smells so good. Oh my God. This is my favorite. This reminds me of um, 2012. Why? Because I had Anthony in 2012. And um, this is all I would buy back in the day, right? Um, I had bought warmers and stuff from my Scentsy lady. Like, well, I don't know if she's still doing Scentsy or not. I kind of lost contact with her. But this was like the number one scent that I would always buy. And it smells so freaking good. And this is a bakery scent, okay? Um, I, I bet Bev knows what the clap is, probably. <laughs> Okay, first of all, what what clap video? What clap? Like like I was like clapping or something? You and you have the clap. <laughs> you know I had to take um oh my god, it's funny that you guys I don't know why this fucking came up right now with me, but um I was a bad child or I was a bad teenager at once and I stole from JC Penny. Um, and of course I had a whole backpack full of shit because I was a bad person and, um, they called the cops on me. I got caught and instead of throwing me in juvenile hall, they made me take these awful fucking classes that lasted, I think like five to six months, months. Okay. And it was all about, um, STDs. So every week, once a week, I would go to these classes and I would learn about STDs. And they would show pictures. I mean, and this was like a theater, okay? So you would sit down and they would show on a projector. It was like a projector or whatever. And they would show like images of like the type of STDs that you can get. Um, and then they had, I mean, it was kind of life-changing at the same time because they had this man who had AIDS that came in and talked to everybody. So it was pretty cool. But at the same time, I was kind of like, what the fuck was this for? Like, what does this have to do with what I did? Like, you know, so I learned a lot about STDs. And uh, needless to say, it traumatized me, so I never had sex with anybody until uh, I met Mr. Q. <laughs> TMI. 
But I think that's what their goal was. Was to scare the fuck out of you and be like, don't have sex because you'll die. Like that one movie, Mean Girls. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. Um, no, Ruby does. It's okay. It made for a funny typo, I'll say. Wait. Oh, Clay. <laughs> oh, we we're all talking about clap and STDs and shit. Jesus. I was like, oh, you meant Clay. Oh, okay. Oh, well, anyway, I take back everything I just said. <laughs> the clap. But yeah. Um, I guess I can tell that story on Friday. <laughs> uh, moving along. So yeah, anyway, that is it. That is all I have to show you guys. Um, almost everything that I showed you is available right now. Okay? So I'll just hang out with you guys. Um, you know, we can hang out and stuff because I don't have anything to do other than clean my house, which I don't want to do, so... And then Michael's downstairs fighting with, I don't know what the hell, but uh, let's see. No backside, but Lazy says, one question. When did you start giving your children sugar? Because I don't want to give him too much at the beginning. Okay, so okay, this kind of, this, this kind of like, okay. I never really planned on like, I didn't even think about it, you know, when my kid was a couple months old, like to give him sugar or anything like that. Um... It just happened, you know, like, I feel like it's more of a, like, you love your kids so much, if you're eating ice cream, you're going to give them ice cream, you know, um, with my second kid, I didn't want to give them sugar, and I think I did good for the first year and a half, until they, until he went to his grandparents' house for the first time, and they gave him a shit ton of sugar, and it was over, like, pfft. all right, Ruby, you, you did good, you know, but grandparents are always going to be like, Here's a King XXXL size chocolate bar for you, Sonny. And then they're just going to eat that shit up and you're just going to be like, great. Thanks, you know. So, yeah, I blame it on my uh, my mother-in-law and father-in-law and my mom and my dad for spoiling the children. But um, I don't think, I mean, personally, me, like, you can have your kid eat healthy stuff from the beginning. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with giving them sugar here and there. Now... Now, now, sugar, like, if you're giving them, like, sugar, sugar, like, here's a teaspoon of sugar, then it's kind of like, the hell, <laughs> you know? I don't know why I'm even saying this, not like you're saying that, but just ignore Ruby. Um, Baxies. <laughs> All right, look, look, I'll fire it up. We, we get it. Friday's coming around the corner, okay? We're, we're going to get there. Uh, we are so distracting. I apologize. The warmers are amazing. I love them. <laughs> no, you're good. My parents are like that, but with giving my dogs treats. Aww. Oh, they're so cute. Like, don't give them chocolate. Here's chocolate. It's like, no, they can die. Like, what the hell are we doing? Totally get it. Um, and then they call my dogs fat. <laughs> it's like you're feeding them, though, so, you know. Um, that's what we're for spoiling our grandchildren. I'm there. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna do a Friday the 13th. True crime. What the hell was that? True crime story, because it's Friday the 13th. And then, I'm gonna do the Frisky Friday. I don't know what I'm gonna do for Frisky Friday, though, because I feel like every time I do Frisky Friday, like, it kind of, it, it kind of gets old. So, like, sometimes I don't want to do it because it's like, Oh, there goes Ruby on Friday talking about sex and anal beads and stuff, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know. And it, and then if I had, a, like, a poll and, like, what do you guys want me to talk about on Frisky Friday? Um, a lot of people don't vote because they feel uncomfortable. And I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable on Instagram or anything like that, you know? Um, well, my parents are not allowed to see my baby boy. Ooh, okay. Well, we won't, we won't go there then. Um... Shine and Twinkle. Hi, Ruby. How are you? Have a magical day. Thank you. You too. My favorite subjects. 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 I can't talk today. Listen, crafters are freaky people. Frisky Fridays are not boring. Okay. So I've been judged before for doing um, Frisky Fridays. Um, but honestly, like, I'm, I was, like, I, my, my husband even was like, 
why are you doing this all of a sudden? He wasn't upset or anything, but he was like, what are you, like, why are you doing this all of a sudden? And I'm like, because it's not talked about. Like, I mean, really, it's not. People think it's something that you shouldn't talk about. And it's like, it's part of life, though. It's not like I'm coming on here naked and like, you know, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm not an e-girl. He calls me an e-girl because I wear the ears and I, you know, I show stuff. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not an e-girl. He's like, you're an e-girl. And I'm like, I'm not an e-girl. And he's like, you are. Because you have like three more ears coming in. And you bought chokers. And I'm like, so? I like wearing stuff. Like, he's like, sooner or later you're going to be showing your butt. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> so he makes fun of me. But it's all fun, you know. And I really never, ever, like, judge anybody. Like, there, if you ever come on to my Frisky Fridays, like, I hope that you feel comfortable and if you want to share something, it's not going to be talked about off, you know, the live or anything. Because we're all grown adults. We're all women. And there's some men in there. It doesn't matter. Like, unless you, if you feel uncomfortable, then you can just, you know, not be in my life. And that's fine. There's people that are not comfortable with it. But, you know, I just, I love talking about it because I feel like sometimes people just want to talk about it. I know I want to talk about it, but I'm not going to be talking to all these bitches out here that are evil and awful, you know? And then my best friend doesn't even live here. So, you know, sometimes it's nice to be like, you know, today I wanted the D and I didn't get it. I'm upset or something, you know? <laughs> or like, I had good sex last night with a stranger. Like, not me because I'm married, but... You know, there's people that have gone on there and say stuff and I'm just like, this is nice. It's nice that you can open up and be comfortable and we're in a safe space. Now, once I start talking about sex, so we have all these trolls that come in, but usually it's um, my mods delete them and stuff. So, but yeah, I mean, and then some people just lurk and they just watch and it's kind of like, they don't have to say anything. They're just there for the entertainment or to learn new things. I don't know. Sometimes I... Sometimes I try to teach people things, but I'm not a professional. So like, you know, sometimes you guys teach me things like about things that I don't know about, you know. Um, let's see. Um, have you talked about swinging on Frisky Friday? I haven't talked about that only because I don't have experience with it. However, I can talk about it. I just have to do some research. I do know, though. That every military community that I've ever lived in has swingers. Like, I know people who swing. And it's very it's very hard to hang out with them. Because it's like, if they flirt, if they even have, like, one little thing of, like, they're flirting, it, it, it makes me uncomfortable because I don't do that. And it's kind of like, I just want to be your friend. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't judge you, but, like, can you not? Okay. Or, like... The girl will look at my husband a certain way and it just it, it just rubs me the wrong way. And I'm like, mm. so we don't have swinger friends like we did in Germany, right? Because I already know, like, no, you know? I mean, I don't judge anyone who does it, whatever, dude. But I'm just not, like, it's, it's very bizarre when you actually have friends that are like that. Because some people don't know boundaries, you know? Um, I love my mother-in-law though. She's so sweet. Um, do you, you do what makes you happy. This is your channel and you get to make it what you want it to be. Thank you. <laughs> sometimes it's hard, but I, like sometimes I like people telling me that because sometimes I forget that it is my channel and then because I get judged for a lot of things and it's kind of like, this is my channel. Shut up. <laughs> you know? Um, you make us happy. Oh, thanks. Oh, well, you guys make me happy too. Chokers are so fun and pretty. They are, right? You guys are going to laugh because I got one. It's like, it, it's like, it's really pretty, but it has a spider coming off of it. So like, it's a spider and you guys know how much I love spiders. Um, I don't know. I just had to get it because it's so cute. Me, lurker. Um, gotta go cleaning a bit before the boyfriend is home. Also, I'm tired. Yes, you go to sleep. You rest up. Let that baby slip. Um, I'd poke a hooker's eye out if she looked at my man. <laughs> Jenny comes out of nowhere. She's like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Also, the cussing. Like, I remember when I first started YouTube, like, a lot of people were like, you shouldn't cuss. And so I didn't. So I, my husband, he cusses, but not around the kids, obviously. So he'll be like, what the flip nog or gosh diggity darn like he says stupid shit like that and i'm like you know i don't care 
So whenever I, you know, when I first started my YouTube channel, I would say stuff like that. And then I was like, no, I want to be myself. Like, if you don't like me cussing, like, you don't have to watch me. So, yeah, I do cuss a lot. I cuss like a sailor. And it's like a lot of people don't like that. And they criticize me for it. But um, they say I come off really mean when I cuss. But, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just like... Pretty hard not to cuss, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say with the flip, you know. <laughs> it, I just can't, like, I have to say the word, you know. But, um, yeah, yes. Sorry, I'm lurking, listening, but not in chat. But I had to put my little eye poker comment, yeah. I mean, guys, there's a oh my god, the, look, what I should talk about on Frisky Friday is how awful and well okay not every woman is awful uh in the military as a spouse okay but i've ran into women who are so disrespectful and disgusting towards other people's spouses that i don't befriend anybody anymore like i try but i, I just can't because it <sighs> like remember that one woman that i told you guys about that went that was trying to be my friend and I was going to give her some diamond paintings and she, uh, I told her to come to my house to pick them up. Excuse me. And she came to my house and, um, Mr. Q had her walked in. Like it was during lunchtime and he was like, excuse me. Cause she was in the doorway and he walked in and she was just staring at him, bit her lip and was saying that he was fine. Like she told me like, oh my God, your husband's really hot or whatever. It's like, I don't really remember exactly what was said, but I remember she was checking him out, licking her lips, biting her lip. And then she told me like, your husband is really hot or something like that. And I'm like, I don't know you bitch. Like, even if like, look, you know, even if I had a friend though, like I wouldn't say those things about another, like her, her man. That's just very weird and like really uncomfortable. And it, it was just like really eye opening and like, oh my God, like what a lot of these females are like this in the, in the military community. Um, because their men are always at work, they're deployed, like, you know, it's just really gross. So, I should talk about that. <laughs> I should talk about that because it, it happens. Or, like, how a lot of the women um, cheat, you know. There's this thing that they say in the military that, well, no, I don't think it's in every branch. But, they're like, if a woman's husband is deployed and she leaves a bucket, a mop, some bleach, and some, uh, what is it? I think it's um, tied. It means it's like a welcoming for other guys to come in and do stuff with her. And a lot of women actually do that. So, yeah. Like, so my husband was like, never leave those things outside, okay? Because it's not good. And I'm like, what? There's like a code? There's a code for that? I was like, oh my God. Like, interesting, interesting. I'm working and lurking. I'm just here chilling. Um, I just showed a whole bunch of Scentsy stuff. I love this little guy right here. He's like a pillow. You know? I'll go sleep tonight. And he's soft. I like I like how soft. You know, that I like pillows that hug you. So like, you know, it's pretty cool. Like this. This one's definitely mine. The kids are not taking this one. Actually, look. These are all mine up here. You guys see that? Those are all mine. The Kermit, um, Anthony told me to take it because he said he doesn't want Jonathan to get it. Um, okay. So, um, what do you guys want to do? Do you guys want me to hang out with you guys for a little bit? Or are you guys ready to leave? Or what's up? That, or do you want me to show you more things? Talk to you guys more about Sensi because I have, I have some free time. You're so cute, Ruby. You make us smile. <laughs> well, you guys make me smile. I know sometimes I could get wild and crazy and stuff, but I I I don't mean no harm. I love you. I love you guys. Okay. Um, I'm just very. I feel like I'm. I'm very like animated, energetic. I get excited, you know, so, but there's days where I'm just like chill and like, you know, so anyway, 
you guys have any questions about Cincy or anything else? Anything else? Does, okay, do these fly? Do two, yeah, they do. The Ruby Toucan fly. Um, I need to get a cow cover minder. More Cincy Ruby. You cuss because you're Chicana. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I have two brothers that I grew up with and like, I didn't really talk to my girl cousins. So I was always with my brothers or like around their friends and all they did was cuss. So I blame them for that. My parents don't cuss at all. Like if they do, it's in Spanish and it's very rare. Um, so my parents were not like, I mean, if I ever cuss, even now, if I say any bad word in front of my dad, my dad gives me the eye like, what are you doing? Like, shut up. What are, you, what are you doing? You know? So I don't cuss in front of my dad, even now as an adult. But I think it's more of like a respect thing. Like, just like I don't like drinking beer in front of my dad. Like, my dad never, like, every time, like, if he would drink, he wouldn't tell us to go get him his drinks. Like, he, he was like, no, you're not, no. He would have, like, my mom or he'll get up and get his drinks. Um, but we're all, we've always been scared, like, to drink around my dad because he just, like, stares at you, like, really? <laughs> you know? <sighs> but, yeah. Um, I know I haven't been showing you guys a lot of Sensi stuff, and I think it's because I didn't have, like, the credit for it. Like, so I do, I do buy my stuff with my own money. So, like, the whole Disney collection, like, or the Little Mermaid connect, connection, collection, I bought with my money because you can't use your credit as a Sensi consultant for it. Um, but I was trying to accumulate my credit because when you're a consultant, you can throw your own parties and then you get credit for that along with your commission. And I finally made enough for me to do a haul because I was like... I don't want to like buy like one thing and then, you know, like show you one thing and make a video or whatever. Um, if you guys didn't know, I forgot to mention this guys, this to you guys. Let me show you. Okay. So if you guys didn't know, they have two different flowers for the fragrance flower. Oh shit. This is the same one. Hold on. Did I get all of them poppy? Was that a poppy? What the hell? Hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Ah, okay. Good. Let me show you. So there's two different types of flowers that you can get if they're available with the scent. And it's this one right here and then this one right here. So yeah, you can get two different ones. I, I don't really have a preference. I like both of them. I think they're both pretty. Um... But yeah, and they both give off the same um, scent kick, so it doesn't really matter. I think it's just like up to you guys, like, you know, whatever flower you think is prettier. <sighs> Thank you, baby. Thanks for the demo where we gotta go for now. Bye, Sandra. Have a good day. I really don't have anything to do today. I went and bought a sandwich yesterday, and I'm thinking about getting another sandwich today. <laughs> I know it's random, but like, that's how bored I get that I'm like, should I go get a sandwich or something? You know, like, you guys ever get that bored that you just want to go eat? Um, I have been going to the gym, so I may go to the gym later on today. Um, I've been taking Michael with me, but he doesn't like it because he's like, he has to have like something like keep to keep him busy. And whenever we go to, to the gym, um, the one that's open right now doesn't have toys. It just has like these two things attached to the wall and he gets bored and he's like, what the hell am I, what are we doing here, mom? Like, can we leave? <laughs> but can you control the amount of scent that comes from the flowers? No, no, because once the wick is full, once the wick is full, sorry, I got a text. Um, it absorbs into the flower, so you can't stop it unless you take the flower out. But, um, I think that the only way that you would be able to control how much scent your flower gets is if you put the oil in a different little container and then just keep adding to the original one. But I mean, that's like doing too much, you know what I'm saying? But I will say this, it does take about a day to fill all the way up, like for the wick to absorb it. So it's not a fast release. It's a slow release. Um, can you do sevens? 
Can you do sevens? What is that? Wispy Willow, what is sevens? Is that a typo? Is that a typo? Let me know. Okay, but seriously guys, out of all the things that I got, I think this is my favorite one. Sorry, can you, one second, yes. I'm confused. What are you asking? What you asking? I'm trying to get this to change colors. I don't know how I did it last time. Can you use a fragrant flower oil for the... For the what? What are you trying to say? Oh, it is changing. Okay, now it's changing colors. I can just imagine what this looks like, like in the nighttime. Stargazer oil machines. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I've never heard of um, you being able to do that. I think it's because they're two different types of oils, so you don't want to do that. Yeah, no, I think those are com two different, complete, completely different oils. That's pretty. I like this. Thank you. You're very welcome. So, okay, I'm gonna let you guys go now, okay? Um, I appreciate everybody who came in here and watched me show you guys all the Scentsy Cool stuff. Again, it, the with Fox this month is really good if you want to try new products. It's only $30. Um, warmer of the month and scent of the month is on sale, okay, for 10% off because it's obviously... They do like the warmer of the month is always going to be on sale for, the, for that month and then it's going to go full price the following month. Um, and then we have our new waxes, our little buddy, our, um, well, we have several buddies that are brand new. And then we, but the one that I showed you is the, the toucan. And then we have, um, the little bitty buddies that are great for, um, kids that have sensory issues or like kids like that have ADHD and stuff such like my kid does. He loves those things. He likes squishing them. And actually his teacher lets him take it to school because she says it helps him. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, everything right now that I showed you is available. And if you want to shop, um, they've been linking down everything. I have my link right here in the description. And yeah, so it'd be awesome. Happy, happy, happy. Have a great one and see you tomorrow night. Yes, definitely see you tomorrow night. I go on at 10 p.m. Um, CST. Thank you, Bevy. Um, I'm thinking about going earlier for now on, but I have to talk to you guys about that. Um, only because it would be like right now. So 10 p.m. for me is good because the kids may or may not be in bed by that time. But it, I also have to consider like Mr. Q because it's the end of the week and it's like he's really tired. So what he does is when he comes back from work, he takes a nap and he wakes up and he stays with the kids when I do my lives and stuff but um i was thinking about going maybe 30 minutes earlier like so like 9 30 but like again i'll talk to you guys to see what you guys think about that tomorrow um if we change consultants does does our club disappear um that's a good question so let me let me think real quick um, you'd have to cancel your club and then do it through the new consultant. Yeah, because, um, because that club is already under that consultant, right? Um, so now if you were ordering something else, like a warmer or bars or anything else, um, you can just buy off of another consultant right because you just go on their website and buy the item but since it's a it's a club item 
um, it's a renewal item. So you're going to want to have to cancel that and then go to the new consultant and then do it through their, their system, right? Their website. Um, why? <laughs> like, why? Ouch. Um, yeah. So if you guys ever like want to change consultants, like say, even if like, say for example, your friends are selling it and you don't want to buy it through me no more, no hard feelings, but do let your consultant know, um, unless, unless you have an issue with them where you just don't want to talk to them because something happened and you don't have to say shit. Right. But if you have a good relationship with that person, um, just be like, Hey, you know, my friend's selling Scentsy and I want to order off them. Like I've had people come to me and be like, um, I'm going to buy off of you and another consultant. And I thought that was really nice because I was like, Oh, okay. At least I know, you know? Um, but whenever we lose a customer, um, it kind of sucks because we don't, we don't know like until later on. And we're just like wondering like, Oh my God, what happened? You know, did we do something wrong? Um, you don't have to though. Like you don't have to tell them though. I mean, but if, um, I mean, it's really up to you, you know, <sighs> but yeah, if I want a new sponsor, will I lose my rank? Um, okay. So when it comes to that, this is a, this is actually a, a conversation that, um, <laughs> that I knew was going to come up. So if you want to change your sponsor, what you would have to do sadly is you would have to, um, quit Sensi for six months. And then sign up under the new person. But the thing is that you will lose everything. You will lose your rank. You will lose all the people that are under you. Um, you're basically going to be starting over again. Which sucks. They Sensei doesn't change. Uh, they don't change who your sponsor is. So like if I, if I called them and was like, hey, I don't want my sponsor to be my sponsor no more. Um, they... They wouldn't, even if I have an issue with that person, they're not going to change it. They can't change it. It's not part of their policy. So you would literally have to like wait. So get out of Sensi, wait six months, and then redo it with a new consultant. But you, like I said, you're going to start all over. You're going to lose everything that you work for. So I don't recommend doing that unless you absolutely just do not and cannot stand that person or you, you know. Um, but yeah, that's one thing that would stop people from doing that is that they'll lose everything. Um, so I'm so sorry. Like, I know, I know why you're asking, but like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Unless you want to lose everything, you know, I mean, we can get you back up there, but it's going to take a while, you know, I mean, it does take a while to, to get all your, um, to create your team and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Any more questions, you guys? <laughs> Anybody have a question? Amber's elect, electric journey. I hope you have a wonderful day. Ouch. I'll wait it out. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, you're going to get out and then wait and then go, like, I mean, it. you don't have to write on here. You can just write me privately if you want, if you feel more comfortable. But I'm, I was also curious about that. Um, cause I had several other people ask me that question and I was kind of like, I don't know, like, how do you, but I, when I talked to, um, corporate or the people that help us, they told me that. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, dang it. But yeah, I mean, is it, would it be worth it? You know what I'm saying? To like start over. But, um, but you are actually, so I know who your sponsor is, but you are also, um, in my team. So like, if you know, I'll help you if you have any questions, I'm not just going to be like, go to your sponsor, you know, um, what I'm, I'm here, I'm basically, so I'm a, I'm a Sensi director and I'm your, um, I would be your first generation sponsor. Yeah. So you can always come to me if you have any issues or anything. I know it's a little harder because you're not in my group anymore and stuff. But, um, yeah, I try to help people because I'm not, I'm not going to be like kick rocks. <laughs> you know, you're not, you're not under me. 
so um, does anybody else have any questions before I leave? Let me know, let me know. I need an energy drink. I need to drink coffee or something. I'm like, I'm so tired again. All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Shop is open. I love y'all, and I'm happy that you guys came on and we talked for a little bit, had some fun. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right? Bye, guys.